Happy Friday, Toronto. My name is Sid Sixero. You're watching Breakfast Television. Much was made of the Toronto Blue Jays having not played at home for 670 straight days. That ended on July the 30th. The Toronto Argonauts have a bit of a streak as well. They haven't played a home game in 665 straight days. I am elated to tell you that run ends tomorrow at BMO Field. Bombers take on the Toronto Argonauts. It's been a long time since we saw the Argos play a game in the city. It has been a long time since I've talked to our next guest, the GM of that team, one of the most loved people in the city, Mike Pinball Clemens, joining us here on Breakfast Television. One more time. Uh, sensational. How are you? That, no, that's the first time in history anyone said sensational. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm great. I, I I feel better every time I see you. It is it is great to see you. everything good before we get into the football team. You good? Family's good? Everything is great. Everything is wonderful. And as I mentioned to you, better than I deserve. <laughs> well, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna steal that line because I'm there. I'm right there with you. All right. What what does tomorrow mean for you? It has been a long time since since yeah. CFL football was in this city. How special is that going to be for you? Uh, well. You know, we when, when we talk about uh, the, the coming back to play again and, and all the things that have happened, all the things that have gone through, the very first thing uh, that uh, comes to my mind is actually the people we will be celebrating tomorrow, and that is the front line workers, right? We talk about football and the absence of football and missed it, important. It's our passion. We love it. It is our job, right? But the real tribute is the frontline workers, the people who have been doing it uh, um, every day for the duration of this pandemic, 18 months now, and have done it with a smile. Uh, and, and so for us being able to start this by celebrating those who have had the greatest challenge during this time is really our greatest opportunity. Here, here. Uh, they definitely deserve it. And, and looking forward to seeing that. Michael, what, what has the last 18 months from a perspective standpoint um, done to you like how do you how do you how do you look at sports considering what we've been through here do you look at it differently well I, I don't know I, I've, I've always seen sport as a part of life uh, my family's always been more important we've always talked about that um, I, I think what we maybe have done uh, and I know my I, myself is just appreciate the little things uh, 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 so much more uh, connecting for me the big thing about sport is how we connect how we come together that's how you and I first came together and and so that connection has been challenged uh, by not being able to to uh, yeah I haven't seen Seen my family for the longest time in my life. I haven't seen my mom's face in person and being able to give her a big hug, as you know I like to do, uh, in over a year and a half now. And, and, and so those challenges, I, I think, uh, run along the lines of our challenges as it relates to football as well. But we are so happy to be back. And that's the real story is Absolutely. the most exciting game on the planet, Canadian football, is back. All right, 4 o'clock tomorrow, Winnipeg Blue Bombers taking on the Argos. That Zach Kalaros is on a bit of a heater here. He's feeling no pain. This is going to be a test. Uh, what should people expect from a game experience? Obviously, you want to keep things as safe as possible. What's it going to look like at BMO tomorrow at 4 o'clock? Uh, at BMO tomorrow, 4 o'clock, uh, you're going to uh, see some exciting football, yes. But but we also will have the social distancing things. And, in fact, the, the crowd is um, – uh, limited so that social distances, so, social distancing will be in place. And, and when you get there, you can expect just like you, you, you've uh, always done when you've come to the games, uh, uh, the many different platforms sports ha has in this city. You can expect a good time. You can expect to be able to uh, ha be like minded and collaborate with people, stand up and cheer together. Uh, and uh, um, and hopefully we won't have too many of those challenges uh, uh, tomorrow uh, playing what is a, an excellent football team. But uh, uh, come enjoy yourself. And it's a return to normalcy a little bit. You, we we get a chance to to feel a little bit uh, of of what it like what it what it what it was. If Absolutely. You, will. you know, we've been talking Pinner all morning about the CNE for a second straight year not being there. But you can head down to that area of town tomorrow, if you so choose, with the family and enjoy. It's going to be a nice day. The Toronto Argonauts, for the first time in 665 days will play a regular season CFL home game at BMO tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Check it out. Uh, if you don't have any plans, it's, it's, it's always a fun time for the family. Mike Pinball Clemens is the GM. Mike, I love you, man. Have a, have a good one. 
Go get him tomorrow. Love get you. a dub. L love, you. love you back. And sensational really quick. Uh, my last closer was you could come to the c &E again. And my uh, biggest memory is doing the bungee jump at, at the c &E. Oh, see, that's that's a different level for me. We have to we have to work to that. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get there one day. Uh, if you, maybe, uh, maybe if you coach me up as usual, Pinner, maybe if, if you give me the motivation. <laughs> I, I, I got you, but I won't do it again either. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll take care of it for both. of us. Have fun tomorrow, Mike. We appreciate you. Have a thank, great day. Thank you so much. See it. The one and only Mike Pinball Clemens. He's amazing. Coming up around 848. Speaking of amazing, the incredible story of a man who lost his ability to stand, then became the international stand-up paddleboarding man of the year. He's got a new challenge in 